What's up fam? It's Afro Angie for Kingdom and Community and today I am going to do a July slash mid-year slash third quarter reset. Today we're just going to be talking about um, goal setting as well as reflecting on June and the rest of the beginning of 2022 which spoiler alert has not gone anything how I thought it should go or wanted it to go <laughs> but that is all the more reason why I'm doing this reset because it's never too late to start over and pick back up no matter um, how far away you strayed from what your ideal goal was and I am going to be that example today and get back on track okay and I got a lot of getting back to do <laughs> A lot of people sleep on green juice, but this stuff is actually fire. If you've never tried it, you gotta try it. Like I was saying, the past year and Angie's vision, two separate sides of the spectrum, okay? Um, but one thing did kind of go as planned. Um, I am now a full-time entrepreneur. I no longer work for a job. I don't work at an office. I just work from home. My husband and I have a media company that we, we've been in operation for like a year. Now I'm going to be able to really kick things into full gear and as well as you know spend more time crafting my platforms and just getting more serious with especially YouTube. I've been doing alright on TikTok, Instagram. I feel like it's just you know can't live without it <laughs> but I've been on YouTube for like three years and so on top of taking my business more seriously I really want to see can I do better with YouTube consistency is definitely one of my main goals consistency on YouTube one of my main goals for July as well as the remainder of 2022 aside from being a full-time entrepreneur which I was kind of expecting because uh, my contract with my job ran out and I knew it was gonna run out this year, the last day of June. However, at some point between like February and March, my job was like, well, we may be extending your contract. Uh, would you be interested in that? So for a while I was thinking, I'm going to be able to have a little bit more of that consistent income, but it turns out it was not able to be extended. So I'm trusting God right now, y'all. And I fully believe that, you know, he gave me this vision. He, he's equipping me and my husband to be able to do this. But this is definitely a leap of faith. Aside from that, y'all, absolutely nothing has gone <laughs> as planned in 2022. It's been a very humbling year, actually. Um, I had goals to just go really hard with my business and God has been super faithful. We've, we've been able to have some amazing opportunities, but it's been very sporadic and we were planning for it to be more consistent. I think that being full-time entrepreneur, hopefully I'll be able to really buckle down and figure out ways to like plug in those holes that we may have been having in some months. Being media company owners, one of our goals is to eventually make movies. Guys, I've been having this idea for a movie script in my head since like last year. I just knew I would have a first draft by the end of the second quarter. I barely have a couple pages written. <laughs> um, in 2020, I sold apparel for Juneteenth. I thought I was going to be able to ramp that back up and do even better with that. I didn't create one piece of apparel. I don't even think I celebrated Juneteenth for real. <laughs> um i really had just so many goals um even like in our business so we have we're a family business and we have a media company but right now we kind of do a lot of marketing for small businesses in our area and i had plans to like diversify from not just doing videography and photography but getting more like logo clients and web clients i have felt fallen or failing, I don't know. <laughs> I feel uh, way short of my goal. I think I've we've had one web client and we haven't had any logo clients, but we have had a lot of graphic clients. So definitely haven't reached like any goals, <laughs> but I have definitely still made baby steps towards those goals. Lord willing, now that I'm 100% focused, because it's like do or die, you know. <laughs> um, definitely going to buckle down and ramp up my business social media um, see how we can get creative reach out to more clients you know we're a whole media company we make commercials and marketing for other companies well now it's time for us to do that for ourselves so um, a lot of my goals for the rest of this year as well as for July may sound kind of redundant but that's where my head is right now y'all okay I have tunnel vision <laughs> and I'm just really praying that I can 
use the rest of 2022 to get serious and focused so that in Jesus name, 2023 and beyond will be um, just years of harvest. Even though a lot of the goals that I had, I haven't necessarily reached, I've still been planting seeds and learning okay well i like this or i don't like this so i don't think i've wasted any time but i definitely don't think i've maximized it either so if i had to choose a word for the rest of this year it'd be maximization i like that and that just came to me out of nowhere so thank you <laughs> all right so i want to tell i want to show you guys my two best friends okay when it comes to like goal setting being what's the word diligent determined I'm very type A. When it comes to those things about myself, I have two best friends and I wanna show you guys who they are or what they are, they're journals, okay? So I have this Artist of Life workbook and this is from Lavender. And I have this one day at a time planner from the Lamare. Now the Lamare um, is a six month planner. So you have to get a new one every six months. This Artist of Life workbook is yearly. These are not cheap, I hate to say it, um, especially now that I'm full-time entrepreneur, guys, budgeting is everything. That's another thing I want to I want to start doing. <laughs> but these are definitely worth the money, if you ask me, because even like the goals that I have not reached in 2022, I can look back and see like what my goals were, and that's how I know that like even though I haven't reached them, I've still been planting seeds because it's like I've been working towards the things that I I said I wanted to do. And I had like small things like character development and things on the list that I've been knocking out. So I'm very thankful for books like these where you can like write down your goals and you can really assess yourself without so much of the emotions like I'm not where I want to be. But these journals help you to see well, I mean, you have been working towards it, you know, you may not have gotten this goal, but you got this unexpected thing. So I really love these. So I'm really going to be pretty much using this one um i don't want to get copyrighted so i'm going to be going off the dome but um i, I do want to show you guys what they look like so that if you want these for yourselves you guys can go ahead and purchase them i'm not sponsored they should sponsor me though i wish i had a link to give you guys but i'm telling you these are really these are truly worth it these are planners that are definitely worth it i wish they made some for males because i would get my husband <laughs> even though he doesn't like this kind of money but <laughs> but this one day at a time planner has a monthly section where you have a calendar and then you have your monthly goals your general goals a monthly to-do list you can make monthly notes and then you can you can do a monthly reflection um you know what were your highlights and wins your challenges and lessons how can you improve next month i love 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 these um I don't know what you call them assessment wheels or something <laughs> both this planner and this artist of life workbook have them but i really use this one day at a time planner for the daily planner like that is why i love this thing so much because i can plan out my week right here got my top three for the week my to do's for the week the habits that i want to do during the week and i can keep up with them so like if i have an off day and I could just bounce back and look, okay, this is what I wanted to do. I could start over, no big deal. I really love that. And then every night, I, I really, really, really try to write out my to-do list for the next day. So then when I wake up, I don't have as much of that decision fatigue, I wanna say. It's something that millionaires talk about all the time. The less you have to think about what you need to do, the more things you can get done. And it's so true because that's probably why I haven't reached a lot of my goals is that I've been trying to think so hard about what needs to be done that I'm, I'm exhausted um, on top of like all the other obligations that I've had to do. So when I can go ahead and just have a reminder for myself planned out, I can wake up and it's usually a little bit easier for me to get things done. So as well as like a space for gratitude, which is super, super important because I think gratitude is like a mood stabilizer honestly like anytime i'm feeling down i can just be like okay well i'm thankful for this thank for this thank for this life goes on right it's not the end of the world thank god because you just never know in these times so yeah that's this i really really recommend this planner for you guys especially for those girl bosses entrepreneurs anybody leaders if you work a nine to five and you got a dream on the side like though that planner is going to keep you in check I use that planner every day, literally. But again, today I'm pretty much going to be going from this Artist of Life workbook. And it has a half year review. 
so i already told you guys you know what i really didn't like about june <laughs> and the, the beginning of 2022 but let's go a little bit more in depth at the beginning of the year it asked me what was my 2022 thing and i said that my thing was discipline wow <laughs> i said my thing was discipline um don't know how well i've been doing with that i do think that last month june i really kicked it into gear um, i'll be talking about that more on my on my uh, channel as i like really dive into this entrepreneurship journey some things that i really wanted to do was wake up early haven't been doing that work out every weekday haven't been doing that cook every day definitely haven't been doing that limit social media usage haven't been doing that <laughs> read bible every day i haven't been doing that but i have been reading more consistently um no hour no phone one hour before bed and one hour after waking up have not been doing that uh, being consistent on social media i've been a little bit better at consistency um read one book a month haven't well i've been reading right <laughs> but i have not been finishing any books um one youtube video a week have not been doing that um write every day i've been doing okay with that i don't want to say every single day but if whether it's journaling or like working on this film um i've been i've been making steps film every day I've been definitely doing a little bit better with that because of this media company. Even if I'm not filming for myself, we have a client. Um, sometimes I make like short films for TikTok. I've been definitely trying to be more consistent with practicing the film craft. No new clothes. I think I may have bought like two or three pieces. I've definitely cut back on buying so many more clothes because I have way too many. And that's a problem. Uh, limit dairy i've been doing that and i want to finish my smile direct because i'm trying to get my teeth straight but i have not been consistent i need to get more consistent <laughs> that's why i really love this book because now that i'm ready to like shake back and get back into gear i have a beautiful reminder of the things that i was trying to do so it's like a lot of these things i haven't been doing as i've said this year is not going as planned but i can easily be like okay what can I do to get back to this place? Because the crazy thing is, guys, at the end of 2021, I was so close to these things. So I know I can get back to them. A few things that I have wrote down for how I want to feel, how I wanted to evolve, and what I wanted to release. I don't want to read this whole list. But I said I want to feel more self-controlled. I think I'm doing that. I want to feel closer to God. Haven't had a choice. Okay. Um, I wanted to feel more focused. I'm closer to that how do i want to evolve i want to complete more still working on that i want to be more on time i'm not as timely as i want to be but compared to what i used to be i'm, I'm okay with that i'm okay with that i want to be more action oriented i think that i've definitely been doing that um i want to be more creative and less doubtful some ways and some things i wanted to release i wanted to release uh laziness and procrastination I think I, I have released procrastination, but I don't think I've released laziness. And that may sound contradictory, but what I'm saying is like, when I decide to do something, I do it. But sometimes I put off, I, or at the beginning of this year, I put off dreaming because I didn't want to uh, put more on my plate. Um, and I wanted to release the need to be validated, the need to be right all the time. I think I've definitely released that. Um, I don't think anybody, especially women, can ever completely release that. But um, that's one of the best things about this year. This has been so humbling for me. I really have released that. And I think that if, if nothing else happened this year, but I could release needing to be validated and right all the time, this year was definitely a success because that had a strong hold on me like badly and i'm still praying i can keep it at bay but i'm very happy that i can say i've worked on this so yeah my theme for 2022 was discipline um i think last year i mean last month i did a little bit better but overall haven't been doing too hard with that okay so for july one thing i really love about this and it low-key intimidates me because it's like you not only can say this is what you want but it wants you to come up with like a breakdown so that you can really be intentional about what you're saying you want so it has main goals and mini goals 
and then it has a weekly breakdown, right? So it's not just you saying, this is what I want, it's saying, okay, well, let's put it into actionable <laughs> steps. And you have to really think about like what is actually feasible. What I'm going to do, because I haven't accomplished much, is look at my previous goals from quarter two. <laughs> and just use that to, I'm, I'm gonna be playing catch up this July pretty much. My main goals are, I really wanna go ahead and start creating pieces for this apparel. And I think part of me is uh, doubting myself when it comes to this. And I don't know why, cause I, that's something I haven't really struggled with as much this year, or maybe I have, and I'm just like, trying to ignore it, I don't know. But I really wanna ramp up this apparel. I want to at least create three pieces for this um, apparel collection. I want to start posting on our business page at least three times a week. I really feel like that's non-negotiable for me. I wanna be more consistent with YouTube and I want to allow my husband to help me create videos because I had this video on my channel where I talked about Pine Bluff, Arkansas being the new Black Wall Street and it's, it did the best any video on my channel has ever done and I definitely think it's because it's more interactive and um, that's a good way for my husband and I to both get practice with like the art of film so that's a big goal for me. I want to complete the first act of this film idea that I have and I hope that I can get two consultations for our business. When it comes to like marketing or just ideas, I really would love to get two consultations. For wellness goals, I would like to wake up every day at 7.30. That's gonna be, I would say by the end of July, I would like to be waking up at 7.30 because at, at one point it was 6 a.m. I'm gonna say 7.30 now, <laughs> I'm gonna work with myself. I would like to definitely either do yoga or some form of Pilates or something four times a week. And I want to continue filming every day, filming or taking pictures, just to be creative, you know? And I think lastly, I would love to work with three new clients in our business. That, that, that's a great goal. I don't wanna overload myself with goals because I wanna make sure I can actually hit them. This has been a very humbling first half of the year for me, but I am going to uh, keep trying to push on anyway. If you are in my shoes, and the beginning of this year has just been crazy for you. Just know that you are not alone. But also, we're finna get it back into gear. And it's never too late. And if you are also someone like me, and in some ways you kind of been feeling like you don't want to keep dreaming because it hurts to not reach those dreams, see if you can find a way to reflect on the baby steps that you have taken and just reflect on those because there have been so many things, like as far as the goals that I talked about, I haven't really been reaching those, but a lot of the unexpected opportunities that I have been receiving this year are because of seeds that I planted in 2020 and 2021. That has been something that's really been keeping me this year since like I've fallen way behind on the things that I had planned for myself. Like God has still been giving me grace because my former self was so determined and so dedicated. So like in a way, my younger self is inspiring me. And so I really want to inspire anybody who's out there feeling how I feel. Maybe you're a go-getter type A like me and you're like, oh, I'm just not hitting my mark, not hitting my goals. It is okay. Like, as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, your future self is gonna thank you because I'm definitely thanking my younger self right now. <laughs> thank you so, so much for tuning in. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more of this entrepreneurship journey. Guys, I am so excited, so nervous, but more importantly, I am just trusting God. Like, no matter what happens, I just know he's gonna develop me and my family, my husband, he's gonna develop us into the people that he wants us to be. He's gonna use our gifts for his glory and I'm just so excited and I'm excited to document the way that I mature and just transform and oh if you're watching and you're tuning in just know that I I just appreciate you so much because you're going to be part of this journey too like this journey actually has been years in the making part of the reason that we have a media company is because I wanted to be a YouTuber and then I was like hmm I can use this camera for other things so it's just really crazy how I can t he can just write the best stories and he can blow your mind if you just like l allow him to use you allow yourself to be a vessel for him thank you guys so much for watching if you would like to share with me some of your goals and uh, some encouragement you have for anybody who hasn't really been 
meeting their mark and uh let's just collab and let's let's encourage each other and boost each other up so that we can kill it for the rest of this year okay and until next time guys seek the kingdom and serve the cookie